story lads, welcome to Rap is Full. We got a little uh, bonus content for you. We walked all the way into the woods to give you a very special battle. So uh, on my right, we have the OG of Irish battle rap, a lover of laughter. He butters his crackers. <laughs> First Irish battler to call your mother a slapper, it's Nugget the Rapper. Yes, thank you. What's up? Let's go. And on my left, all the way from South Florida, travelled all the way here so his belly's kept full. But you better pour his orange juice with less, less pulp or he gets disrespectful, it's Red Wolf. What's up, Red Wolf? Back by four shit, South FLA, let's get this in. Rap is full, subscribe. Thank you very much. So yeah, we got uh, three rounds, 90 seconds apiece, and uh, Red Wolf's gonna go first, so whenever ready. Hey yo, they say that you're the best here because you've done it the longest. All I see is 10 years of a struggle in progress. Nugget, just stop this. You had a match with the Swords, and for months you reblogged it, but couldn't muster up enough of a profit to double your stock with, or at the very least get more love on your content. You brag on the DFI days, holding onto them forever. It's constantly a lecture about an era where barely any competition entered, and out of everything he's accomplished, there's a lot we can remember, like choking against Russell under pressure, losing to a cartoon that did marginally better, or that <laughs> bar you spit for Redzer where you almost said the N-word. You did beat O'Shea though, but honestly, whatever. You're an OG by default. I don't have to respect it. As of the present, you don't grasp half of the status or essence, but apparently you got your own next. That's unexpected. It's not like you were in the spot with return value to get it. See, you're average at best, but hold the highest Irish battle and record and pass it as leverage. It's a tactical method by the staff that's intended to brand you as a rap is full legend, but reality sets in. When cats from the US completely batter you senseless, you walk away with a big match but never capture attention, and they just added their collection of international credit. Man, it's hopeless to compete. Number Skill level, I'm overthrowing them in these. Even the locals in your scene know I'm a whole new different breed. I'm leaping forward because I'm dope as an MC. You won't even perceive as go because the folks within the league molded you to be. But hey, Gary, thanks for warming up my seat. That's one. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so this current situation has truly been a cunt. Nowadays, we have to battle by the river and the loser has to jump. <laughs> but look, shit, lad, I'm kind of pissed that you'd spit that. And just for that, you're not getting a fucking lift back. Because, look, this must be a mistake. Now, I could have sworn, I did say, I said the last time, battle rap completed it, mate. But after all the fanfare and dust and smoke has settled, I have fairly clearly found myself in some fucking bonus level. To get me point across, to me, this is a train around to you. This is your final boss. And if you put your last matchup up against mine, you'll know I only selected this option for some extra coin. Cause look, you're a beginner coming up against a killer. A wolf against a goat? You should be hunting me for dinner. But look, it's every Irish legend balled up into a spitter. So if you're a red wolf, I'm cool cooling with the schlitter. And you got 10 million views on a vid. Hey, that's big, mate. 16 year old raps about Trump. That's clickbait, but I do find it a major fucking coincidence that you both, you and Trump got to where you are with some Russian influence. And usually with the views, I'm kind of arrogant with mine, but that one vid has more views than all my music and my battles have combined. But how come when you rap about your homeland, it's that your president's a fascist and he's lying? If I'm rapping about my homeland, I'm rapping with some pride. In America, you're just another rapper with some shine, but Irish chill, but Irish rap on the map back at the time. And nowadays, Irish rap actually thrives. So the only fucking views that really matter in me is, are you turned your back on your country. I fucking carried it on mine. Time. But he's had 17 years as an adult to dwell on how to excel in hip hop and build a mountain of wealth. But he's been moving at a snail's pace. He ain't bound to do well. And if you guys have ever watched SpongeBob, you can tell. When he's in deep water, Gary rarely comes out of his shell. Nice. You must be proud of yourself. I know he came to do written's hatefully dissing, but I actually have a thank you to give him. Because you provided the horse shed that me and Arcane went to spit in. But that was your mistake to begin with, because I ain't leaving you in a stable condition. I'm about to body bag this man. He'll be second guessing the garbage raps he planned until all he has lying on paper is lines that'll start to scratch off like a polygraph exam. You couldn't write for me. Rightfully so, you were boldly specific about having these rounds short to the finish. Don't bullshit on why you impose on a limit. We know why you did it. Got me looking like Billy Joe when I'm spending a portion of this shit going ballistic, moaning and bitching over a minute. But let's get some facts straight. You have hate for English motives. It's completely justifiable, dog. History shows it. But with him it grows as a little bit hypocritical when it's spoken from a prick whose biggest moments were driven solely within a British business. Don't it? You also don't like Americans. They mocked you in pop culture and branded it. But then you dedicate your life to their art form that you're practicing. This man is see-through and deceitful. Half the people you cast as evil have equally been the hands that feed you. Granting you with a chance to reach the top higher column. You cannot rise to stardom. Your online stock price has fallen to the bottom. He's been fucking up performances. They outright forgot him. I guess Nugget couldn't warm up when the spotlight was on him. Two. Honestly, honestly, wasn't expecting the shit that you'd say. 
You said I don't like Americans. I did till today. Um, but look, look, they should have gave you a lower mid tier to be helped up steps. But for you to get pushed your second one, to them look sketch. Think Red Wolf can step up and get Nug next? I'll leave you doom till you die like Zev Lovex. Cause me pens up with the best cunts. I messed up vets. Make you regret words you pen just like your central text. Thought this was a leg up to get some events board bless. It's a setup, just fresh blood for the best one yet. Thought you'd stretch up to the ledge up where the legends rest. Till I spear you to the ground just like Edge on Jeff. Have you forgot? I'm from the animal crop. 10 years back before the standards had dropped. The man in this, what? No one's having me spot. Thought you'd stand on my noggin as you ran to the top. Let me tell you what kind of chances you've got. As much as seeing Alex Ferguson standing with Klopp and the fans on the cop singing you'll never walk alone in an arsenal top. And you're from Miami. That sounds like a fun town. Drugs, clubs, well, sun's out, guns out. You moved from the sunny shores to Tullamore. <laughs> Look now. Tullamore is a tough town, run down. Main exports, muck, cows. It's ironic, you skipped out on the party lifestyle, now you're living with the come down. And have you seen the boards that Red's got? Woo, red hot. But next thing, gets dropped. Then when he gets locked, the calls and the texts pop. Begs till he gets blocked. To bring a 360, I guess it's game over when Red rings his Xbox. And look, if you wanna rap, it's body bags. Wanna scrap? You're on your back, cause I want you to know I've got a fucking prison record by Johnny Cash. Twin. Look, man, <laughs> I don't know what advice I can give to you to get you through this little midlife crisis you dipped into, but time really hit this dude. Retirement's in the view, and he's trying to relive his youth, losing hair in his head, stress, writing his shitty tunes, sweeping it all up in the pile in his living room, sticking it back on and applying Gorilla Glue. Why do you do this? Your 2009 style is useless. I could file up a huge list of new kids in Ireland's movement that deserve the opportunities you decided to lose in. You're like that 35-year-old dude that's well past his prime as a student, but every year he creeps in the back of all the high school reunions. Pass the torch. Soon you won't be fortunate to get endorsed. Your boring image and bitten persona has been pretty forced. Similar concepts with the source was your biggest source. You walk in a fine line of a modern day Einstein cause you got in the limelight with a formula that isn't yours. The foreigner, Florida man, dragging your champion's corpse into the killing floor. It's straight awkward. I ain't bothered. Pound for pound, I'm scaling them down like Weight Watchers. This soft flame is about as law breaking as a jaywalker. Raw and Gangster is a Drake concert. It's a killer act, but it's with a mask and a script attached. Like Kane Hodder, eh, partner? You're not gonna parade off from your staged opera. Straight shots blasting, I'll gladly prove you walked down the wrong alley like Bruce Wayne's father and his Dame Martha. And for those that are gonna say I'm just a rookie and my shit's void, he wanted this battle. Getting destroyed was his choice. Bet none of you motherfuckers really wanted with me now, son. You gotta simmer down some. If I can win a match that Carl couldn't garner and Johnny Darko pussied out from, then y'all should know the outcome of sparring with these rounds. Man, it's over. My closer is quit living in your 15 minutes of glory past. Admit that you're old and fat. And if you're gonna send me a battle or dissing with more attacks, they better lyrically know their craft or I'm getting these yokes to crack. In other words, Nugget, I wouldn't count your little chickens before they hatch. Kingslayer. Nice, nice. Fires, fires, thank you. Give me some advice. Thank you. Said a lot of horrible things about me and it's facts, dude. I am washed up. I've even got a son in Florida. Hold on, son, is that you? <laughs> so look, before, look, honestly, COVID has made battling a pain. It hasn't been the same. I mean, the fans have been away. A pre-corona battle for Nugget, man, if he packed it, be insane. The only thing you'd need on the car to be me name. A Red Wolf battle pre-corona would look exactly the same. Cause pre-COVID, I was primed for war. Coming off a classic and we had lined up more. By now, I'd have been taking them transatlantic flights for sure. Instead, I've been climbing walls alone in the gaffery year and writing more, which sucks for you. Cause I have never been to these parts of me mind before. So look, goats don't lose kid. We win or we learn. And what I've learned for you is you need to pick a different career. Cause I've never had any doubt about what your abilities were, but my past is your future. Do you know how fucking little you learn? Do you know what happens when rent goes into arrears? Do you know how expensive kids are to rear? Do you know how many fucking battles I did in a year? Do you know how it feels to just stand, listen and bear your personal business heard by some geek wad and not give them a clip in the ear? The battle comes out two weeks later, you still have to give it a share. And then you go and look your family in the eye, knowing the fucking shit that they've heard. So when you see me at events swanning around like, the king is in here. 
basking in the admiration, sipping a beer. Don't think I don't see you little cunts in the corner having a little bitch in a lair, whispering ears. Like, this isn't fair, that's the shit I deserve. Just know that you have no fucking idea of what I did to be there. And look, still take it as a loss, but you're gonna see it as a blessing. Cause this is just nature for a goat to teach a kid a lesson. Time. Fucking sick, yeah, man. Sick. That was incredible. That's crazy. Thank you